Hello again everybody, it's Miss Paulson here and it's time once again for this week's Story of the Week. And today I'm going to be reading you Mrs Mopple's washing line. Let me show you the front cover. If you look very, very carefully, you will see the title of the book, Mrs Mopple's washing line. And you can see Mrs Mopple there hanging up her spotty handkerchief and there's a pair of white gloves hanging on the line, blowing in the wind. And this book is by Anita Hewitt with illustrations by Robert Broomfield. And there you go, have a good look at that front cover. Oh, and I've just spotted on the back of the book the blurb. And you can see just here, there's a cheeky hen with a sock around its neck for a scarf. Goodness gracious me, I wonder what's going to happen in this story. Shall we find out? Get yourself sitting comfortably and show me when you're ready. Happy backs, eyes looking, ears listening. And let's begin. Mrs Mopple's washing line. Written by Anita Hewitt and drawn by Robert Bloomfield. Mrs Mopple was a farmer's wife and on Monday morning she did her washing. Now, what have we got today, she said to herself. A frilly pink petticoat, a pair of woolly bed socks, two white gloves and a red spotted handkerchief. Mrs. Mopple finished her washing and pegged it on the clothesline alongside the cabbage patch to dry. There, she said, blow wind, blow. The wind is blowing. And then the wind blew so strongly over the cabbage patch. Mrs. Mopple's Monday wash fluttered on the line like flags in a row. The frilly pink petticoat, the pair of woolly bed socks, the two white gloves and the red spotted handkerchief. Mm. Mrs Mopple went indoors because she was going to get the dinner ready for herself and her husband and the pig, the turkey, the chicken, the Jersey cow and the rabbit. Mm, that's a lot of people to get dinner ready for Mrs Mopple. Blow, wind, blow. It blew so strongly that snap went the pegs that were holding the petticoat. The frilly pink petticoat tossed in the air twice around the haystack and over the farmyard. Then down it came on the little black pig, tight round his little black middle. The pig sat down in the middle of the farmyard. So there he was, a pig in a petticoat. Blow, wind, blow. Can you blow with me? It blew so strongly that snap went the peg from one woolly bed sock. The bed sock went tossing into the air twice around the haystack and over the farmyard. Then down it came on the gobbly red turkey, tight on his head like a warm woolly nightcap. <laughs> the turkey sat down in the middle of the farmyard. So there they were, a pig in a petticoat and a turkey in a nightcap. <laughs> Blow, wind, blow. And it blew so strongly that snap went the peg from the other woolly bed sock and the bed sock went tossing into the air twice around the haystack and over the farmyard. Then down it came on the little yellow chicken tight around her neck like a winter woolly muffler. That's like a scarf. 
and the chickens sat down in the middle of the farmyard. <laughs> so there they were, a pig in a petticoat, a turkey in a nightcap and a chicken in a muffler. Blow, wind, blow. It blew so strongly that snap went the pegs that were holding the gloves. The two white gloves tossed in the air twice around the haystack and over the farmyard. Then down they came on the Jersey cow, tight on her horns with their fingers sticking upwards like eight white finger horns and two white some horns. The cow sat down in the middle of the farmyard. So there they were. A pig in a petticoat, a turkey in a nightcap, a chicken in a muffler and a Jersey cow with ten horns. <laughs> blow, wind, blow. It blew so strongly that snap went the pegs that were holding the handkerchief. The red spotted handkerchief tossed in the air twice around the haystack and over the farmyard. Then down it came on the grey fluffy rabbit. Tight all over him, spotted like the measles. <laughs> the rabbit sat down in the middle of the farmyard. So there they were. See if you can remember with me. A pig in a petticoat, a turkey in a nightcap, a chicken in a muffler, a Jersey cow with ten horns and a rabbit with the measles. So there they were. Mrs Mopple came out of the kitchen and as she came she said to herself, Ooh, blow wind blow, the wind has blown my washing dry. Ooh. Now Mrs Mopple looked at the clothesline and as she looked she said to herself, Blow wind blow, the wind has blown my washing off. <gasps> Mrs Mopple looked at the farmyard and she blinked her eyes. And as she blinked, she said to herself, Blow, wind, blow, what do I see? Oh, a pig in a petticoat, a turkey in a nightcap, a chicken in a muffler, a Jersey cow with ten horns and a rabbit with the measles. I don't believe it, she said. I don't believe it. There they are. <laughs> Mrs Mopple went indoors to tell Mr Mopple and he didn't believe it either. Do you? I do, do love that story. I love this story, Mrs Mopple's washing line. I hope you enjoyed it too, because it's quite funny, isn't it? I'd love to see that pig in a petticoat and a turkey with the nightcap. They would look really funny. And I noticed something about Mrs Mopple's washing line. I was thinking, when I looked at her house, it didn't look like my house. And I bet it doesn't look like your house as well. I want you to go back and listen to this story again and look really carefully at the pictures and have a think. What's different about Mrs Mopple's house and how, what our houses look like today? Hmm. Have a think. See you again soon. Bye bye.